What if it rallies the Republican Party? What if it uh, brings re- Protestants and Catholics and, and brings about a, a Republican coalition that's then able to do other things? So, so events like this abortion law are not just events on their face. There's, there's usually a deeper meaning behind it. Now, there's nothing inherent in Christianity that makes it fervently opposed to abortion. So people like to think that there's like some essential characteristic of Judaism, some essential characteristic of Islam, some essential characteristic of Christianity, some essential characteristic of black people, some essential characteristic of Nordic people, some essential characteristic of Japanese people. But there aren't. There aren't any essential characteristics of any particular religion or, or people. What happens is certain people manifest differently in different circumstances. And so... Christianity, Protestant Christianity, and Catholic Christianity suddenly became obsessed about abortion in the late 1970s. This was entirely brand new. And as late as 1984, abortion was not a partisan issue. So what happened was that the conservative people like Phyllis Schlafly and Paul Weyrich and uh, other movement conservatives, Richard Vigory, Jerry Forwell, they were looking for some, some way to expand their base beyond those simply opposed to the civil rights movement. And so abortion was a way of uniting everybody with traditional ties. So it unites people who don't like big government, who don't want uh, Northeast liberals and pointy heads on the Supreme Court or federal politicians legislating what can be the law in in one's own home state. Uh, people, Some people just don't like threats to the traditional way of life and anything that opens up access to more sex because anything that opens up more access to more sex makes marriage more unstable it increases temptation for man